Welcome back, welcome back. This is Janae, the Mystical Medic, doing a pre-Saturn Direct reading for my fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome. Let's jump straight into it. Bottom of the deck, prescriptive storytelling. Dreams, okay. Now, this card is for Aries, the next one for Leo, the next one for Sag, all right? So we're going to stay on that. And I know sometimes people's readings go straight Aries, keep it there, then Leo, then Sag. I want you all to figure out how you guys help each other. So we're going to try this. Otherwise, if I need to stick to the usuals in the tarot world, yeah, I'm flexible sometimes. So Aries, dreams. All right, Leo, visualization. And Sagittarius, self-mastery. Overall energy, nurturing. That lioness, oh, with that cute little cub. Fiery, fiery. All right, you guys. So, Aries, what is it about your dreams that are supposed to help Leo with their visualization and Sagittarius with their self-mastery? How do you guys show up in, in each other's charts? That's what I would love to know. So if your family group of people are full of a lot of fire signs, this may be something that's helpful to your family. Just saying. All right, Aries, dreams. Oh, the Empress. I love that. Very cool. All right, Leo. Are you holding on to something that's blocking you from visualizing properly? Maybe something's getting in your way there, huh? And Sagittarius, if you find yourself refusing to go within, you're fighting what the divine is trying to help you with. Virgo's hermit energy is all about self-mastery. It's the precursor in earth signs to Capricorn, right? If we follow the progression through the chart. So somewhere somebody's stuck not taking a leap of faith overall. You got to nurture yourself. You got to nurture your leap of faith, fire signs. That's going to hold you back more than anything else. All right. So I wonder how to clarify that. Well, okay. Clarifying it with the Ten of Cups. What is that, y'all? What is that? What exactly does that mean for you? I just heard somebody is focused on perception, focused on what that nurturing looks like normally. And I'm going to ask each of you to step outside of the box. So maybe Aries, this is where you're able to help the other two because you're the cardinal sign, right? You charge out into the battlefield. You're, you're like, uh, I, I know what I'm doing. I got this. However, truth be told, sometimes you really do need to remember that you need other people around you. So that's what your other fire signs are here for. Uh, but right now you're standing in this empress power about your dreams. So let's see what kind of clarifying information we can get on your instrumental role as leader. Because Leo, I don't think this is something we need to fight with Aries about. I feel like... Sometimes maybe Aries forgets to put their heart in their leadership, but because the Empress is here, we're talking about an Aries group that has mastered that part of their Leo energy in the chart. And so that's why they're able to go after their dreams. So Leos, if you're having trouble visualizing something that you had to leave behind, Aries is here to support you and say, hey, it's okay, Leo. It's okay to nurture yourself. It's it's not lame. You need self-care. Virgo, you don't have to be... Uh, Virgo, wow. Okay. <laughs> Is there a Virgo with a Sagittarius moon or rising out there that needed to hear something? Um, <laughs> I heard... I was trying to say Sagittarius. You don't have to be so hard on yourself like a Virgo, but... I don't know. Somebody either has some strong Virgo placement... And maybe is in a immutable Sagittarian mindset of, of 
trying to see the big picture, trying to stay really independent when what you got to do is take a leap of faith and come home to yourself. So Leo and Sag, I'm saying like, really come home to yourselves so that you can get out of your own way and experience that full 10 of cups before you even start to share it with anybody else. Got to have it at home, right? That's what the lioness is telling you, that nurturing card. So clarifying this eight of cups, queen of cups. All right, Leo, you got it in you. You really do. For I just heard for the Leos um, that are at the end of July, this is especially for you. You really have what it takes to nurture. Maybe you just forgot. Maybe you've been so hard on visualizing it and, and trying, you know, your fixed sign, Leo. Making it concrete was the, was the sudden push, but you got to let loose. You got to flow. You got to flow. So hermit in reverse for, for Sag. Look at that. The star. So you can be independent like this quality of Aquarian energy. This is what Saturn is bringing you guys, y'all. I think it's beautiful. You have to trust that you are in self-mastery. Whatever Sagittarius uh, is out there, if your progress chart is in Capricorn, that is bolstering your self-mastery capabilities. So uh, I, I would suggest continuing to trust yourself. Um, if not, you're just going to end up feeling delayed. Delay is what I get with this not taking a leap of faith. You have the support of the star. So I'm going to say like bravo Aries for helping redirect your other fire signs. Um, that support y'all, you guys are a fiery family. Be be all in the pride, not in your personal pride, but the pride of lions and lionesses. Nurture your inner cub. Get the job done. So I'm going to leave that there. I don't think we need anything further. That looks really good to me. So bravo, fire signs. Next 48 hours. This is what's been uh, set forth. And I wish you the best. So much love, many blessings. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you've got uh, interest in personal readings, head over to www.themysticalmedic.com. Talk to you soon. Take care.